Think about it, you and me together. It's perfect. You know, there's none of that pretentious getting to know you crap. I know everything there is to know about you. How you think, how you feel. Really? Yeah. You think you know everything about me, Dawson? Come on, Joe. We spend most of our waking and sleeping, for that matter, moments together. Yes, I think it's fairly safe to say that I know everything there is to know about you. What you don't know about me, Dawson, could fill a book. So many people have known. Mm. I'll be right back. <laughs> Joey. Hey. Hey. I was, um, <laughs> this might sound weird, I was cleaning out my closet this morning, and um, I found the costume that you wore in my movie. And I was, I was just thinking about how good you looked in it. Um, you know, the pretty and, and vulnerable, and I was just thinking, you know, I hope Joey was happy with her performance in the movie. So, I, I, mean, I guess I'm asking, I'm <laughs> surprised we haven't discussed this before, but, um, what did you think of my movie? I loved it. It was great. You know that, Dawson. You'd be honest with me, right? It was amazing. Extremely talented. It's one of your many attractions. Look, are you all right? No, I just, I just, I just wanted to make sure that you didn't think my movie was on the, um, I don't know, stupid and putrid side. You're acting weird. Are you having an insecurity attack? Come on. It's just really important for me to know that you think that I have talent and potential as a filmmaker. You read my journal. <laughs> you left it out for me to see. Oh, not unless it blew open or you, you suddenly developed x-ray vision. I mean, God, how dare you? You invaded my privacy. I mean, I could sue you for this. <laughs> what I'm really curious about is what else is in that journal that you don't want me to see? What else does Joey Potter really think of me? Oh, right now, Dawson, you really don't want to know. All right, so I shouldn't have read your journal, but come on, you can't tell me all the times you've been alone in my room that you've never snooped? No. Not once? No, because I, unlike you, respect your privacy. <laughs> you obviously don't respect my filmmaking abilities. Dustin, how I feel about you and your quest to be Spielberg Jr. is not the point. You read my journal. This is a huge privacy issue. Joey, that's exactly the point. How do you Hi. feel about my filmmaking abilities? Hi, I'm, uh, Jack. Can I help you? Andy's brother. Who's Andy? <laughs> my sister. Look, that's fascinating, and I don't mean to be rude, but as you can see, I'm really busy here, so if I can no, help you I, in any I'm way... I'm here to interview for the job. Oh, yeah, right, Jack, Andy's brother. Um, listen, have you ever washed dishes before? No, no, but I'm willing to work. Good. Interview's over. Kitchen's that way. I admit what I did was wrong, but, Joey, you lied to me. You've been lying to me. Look, don't turn this around and make me the bad guy, Dawson. You violated me. You betrayed me. Well, tell me, were you ever planning on telling me the truth? Why should I? I thought I'd just write it all down and then have you over to study. Stop making jokes, Joey. This is a really big deal. You were completely You're dishonest right, Dawson. with me. It is a big deal. But the big deal isn't what you read. The big deal is that you read it. I apologize for that already. Excuse I... me. If you have a second, could you tell your sister I work here now? Because she's not letting me in the kitchen. I'm glad I read it, actually. Because now I realize I... I don't think I know you at all. Maybe you don't, Dawson. Maybe you never did. 